started riding in 61. Okay. I retired in 81, and I've been training ever since. Got it. Yeah, so. You're up at 4 in the morning. You're here all morning long. Then you're in the, the grandstands watching other horses. You're looking for other opportunities with other horses. I mean, this is a very long day. It, it makes to be a long day, but it, if you don't like it, you know, you're not going to you're not going to spend all day doing it. Who do we who do we have here? Can you give this, us just a quick this tour? Ho this horse here is, is uh, Corona de Del Mar. Okay. I claimed him at Hollywood Park as a maiden for 32, and when we ran him back, he won. So when you say claim for a maiden 32, so that's a classification for our fan. That's a, a 32,000 represents the dollar value that that horse had to be purchased for out of that race. He was yes. for sale. Yeah, he was for sale. And, and they started here at Santa Anita, I think they started 10,000 is the bottom. 10,000 claiming and it goes to 12,000, 16, 20 and on. And I mean, you can claim a horse for 100,000 every year. Brave enough. <laughs> so we bought him as a yearling. How old is he now, Danny? He's a two year old. He's inside of our game. Uh, players have the opportunity to actually be the jockeys and ride the horses and they get there and they get behind the starting gate and they get ready to anticipate. Going back when you were a jockey and, and from a training perspective, what's the most important thing uh, you should tell our jockeys when evaluating a race prior to that race, uh, uh, the, the horse that they're on? When I, when I rode, things I would want to know is do they lug out a little bit, do they lug in, do they, do they shy, you know, are they bitter on the outside, bitter on the inside. That's it, because once you break out of the gate, forget it. Anything the trainer told you in the paddock or anything you looked in the racing form, forget it. Throw it out the window because everything changes once the gates open up. So we're sitting here in Danny's office and he's going to give me a quick history in horse racing of some of the greatest uh, jockeys that ever lived. And uh, go ahead, Danny, tell me who we got. Uh, he's a great rider, boy. You know, he was small and, God, he was so cool, you know, and he's really a great guy, really a gentleman all the time. Uh, the one below him is Fernando Toro. He, he, his, they used to call him the Bull, and he was uh, really known for his races on the turf. I was going to say Fernando on the turf. Fernando on the turf. The, the, this next guy down here is Johnny Sellers. He won the Kentucky Derby, I believe, on a horse by the name of Kerry Back, mm, I think in 1964. He, 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 was, he was a good, good rider. Very good rider. Obviously, Danny, these guys were all very good friends of you. Just not not just having the pictures, but just the way you talk about these guys probably brings back a ton of memories. Oh, does it ever? My goodness, does it ever? Yeah. Danny, thank you very much for your time and thanks for having us visit you today. And a wedding. Getting a lethal heat going right on by two B Jim and running on second, but lethal heat's going to score. Lethal heat won at two B Jim. To be dead, a military bride.